OG versus Team Spirit in this best of three showdown. Winner continues on in the tournament in the playoff stage. Loser out and about as we might have action early on. Seb? Uh-oh. He's going to get glimpsed back. Disruption is there from Mira. He's fine. Yep, looks like he'll live in another life. First blood to Laurel. That is probably the best hero to snag that one. You're used to that in your pro career. You should get used to it in it's your casting. Extremely career. uncalled for Sunspan TV. Yatoro. Still did better on. than you did in CS. That's technically true. Yatoro on the outskirts of. Doesn't matter. Down he goes to Whisper. But there's TP support. A nice glimpse comes out from Maposhka, so it will be a trade. Oh, that's a really good bushwhack. Uh, sorry. All right. Acorn shot. We're, get, we're just getting warmed up here, Sinner. Tons of damage. Yeah, that's the start. But yeah, Miro making the rotation will open up the top lane for a little bit of more safety for Void. Yeah, they're going to have Seb. glimpse. That's three stacks of Shadow Poison. Seb sticking around a little bit too long, potentially. Kinetic Field. They want to give the kill to the Naga, <laughs> but it's not going to be the case. Mira <laughs> waited so dead. long, and then just as Yotoro <laughs> can get it, Mira yeah, takes the made kill. Made the auto attack animation. He goes for it. Ari. Likely will fall. Mira is going to end up being the trade. Now Whisper left in a 1v2, but he's got the move speed. It's already 1,000 into his... going to go straight up Brown Boots uh -oh. Radiance. Outside the kinetic field, he will be able to walk away. Every time we get a Zeus game, we're kind of talking about the caster Zeus versus Lightning Hands. I actually kind of like Lightning Hands in this one. And I usually find myself liking the casting build better. So because I think Lightning Hand Zeus actually deals very well with Naga, and you do a lot of damage in Chrono. Mira, Mira will be toast. Bushwhacked and eventually will fall. Takes a little bit longer than anticipated. Still looking great for Spirit in the way of net worth. Just finding more out of the map. They've taken one tower each team, so that gold is even. So this 1k advantage essentially, or 2k, excuse me, is essentially just raw net worth from last hits. The majority of it. That collapse. Oh, no. oh, we see the Chronosphere from Tomato. TP's coming. Not a whole lot of damage by Tomato right now. But BZM makes his way over. There's the Static Storm, and Collapse is going to use it to Onslaught away. But he's still kind of slow. BZM able to Heavenly jump in the vicinity, pops his ult, and down goes the Primal. Maposhka tried to help the exit for Collapse. Will likely fall as well, and the Fade Bolt will be enough. Laurel and Mira still shadowing here, ready to fight potentially. Split Earth not going to be cast though, and now Spirit will retreat. You used to be, for those that don't understand, you used to be able to toggle it while you were disrupted so that the illusions did not get Radiance. Dyer's top tower is under that was pretty lame for the uh, three or four uh -oh. Shadow Demon players out there. Pulverize onto Ari. He's going to use his Sharpshooter, but then dies shortly after. Collapse with a good pickoff. Got his BKB in his inventory now. He's already halfway to that Blink Dagger. And Laurel will be joining him. Trying to high-five the tower before it's too late. It's, no, it's going to be close. Oh, oh. Well, they get the high-five. Oh, no. So close. Where did the high-five go? It disappeared. But it didn't say he didn't get a high-five, right? So I guess he technically high-fived the corpse of the tower. Huh. Yeah, I never noticed that one. Tower stone have corpse of Shannon, it would be the ruins. Thank you for that. Static storm onto the brew. Whisper dead. Good pick off. And that is exactly what BSJ was talking about. This Probably going to hope to get it for free, of course. As all supports do. Oh, Spirit might find the bigger one. This was what yep. OG Auto. were hoping for. Tomato Spider Sense is tingling, though. Wow. Good instincts. He's still going to oh, stay in farm, though. But the greed of a position one never falters. Pulverize into the Static Storm. That's the death of Tomato. Man, he had the right idea of the then. He just saw those juicy creeps. That's collapsing company. Still on the high ground. Ari could use the Sharpshooter to get back down. And Laurel, super fast. Telekinesis back towards that tier two tower as the primal split is finally popped here not using too much effect mira gets off the disruption onto maposhka looks like he'll end up dropping eventually to whisper as collapse now focusing on bzm the trample is enough so two cores dead for og ari stuck in no man's land and this will be the third member to fall here for og and all they get is a disruptor and it took so long to find it they're not done yet. Yeah, the Primal continuing on to Seb. Nice kill. 
I say it very sophisticated. Say, mm, I reckon. That, that's no such thing as sophistication with the word reckon. Anyway, continue with your very... Spirit will point. probably want to push out bottom, take that tower, and then steal the Tormentor. That's what they usually do. So I'm actually surprised to see them not go for that as the immediate follow-up play to the Roche bot. I reckon that's true. Oh, Tomato. Wow, that sounds so stupid Tom when you say it. <laughs> Tomato on the other side of the tree line. Mira is going to catch Vision. Tomato actually uses Time Walk aggressively, pops his BKB, but that's the Demonic Burge. Basically wasting his BKB now. Has to use his Chrono to be able to get some move speed, but Zeus is taken out first on the outskirts oh, he's not of even the gonna battle. Kill him. And now the song comes out. The BKB is over. And Snare to follow Orchid. Tomato destroyed. Wow, that is a bad fight for OG. And Seb's going to be cleaned up. Whisper the only one to survive, and that's because he wasn't even there. And again, if you're just joining us, very important series. Both these teams are tied in this Dream League group stage two. As Yatoro goes high ground, pulverized from collapse onto Whisper. Not able to get the primal split off, and even BZM falls to Lar. This is a disaster. Oh, gee, just getting run over. Yeah, what was it you said earlier? When it rains, it pours? That's right. Yeah, probably something like that going on right now, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have told you that. You're going to use it more often now. I'm going to use it against you. Okay, sure. Like a weapon. Is eventually going to go off and into no man's land, collapse there to finish the job. It's it's com right. it comes back all the time. It's like it's like ants or spiders in your house. Well, all right, I get Naposhka. Did he have the gem on him there? He didn't, right? Uh, no, it's on Mira, so they don't get the gem for this. And Spirit will probably finally go for what I was talking about: bottom tower into Tormentor. Oh, but there's TPs. Tomato. Oh, oh aggressively okay. He wanted the wisdom rune. Toro there. Orchid run away. Both sides were so surprised to see yeah. each other. <laughs> As Laurel, he's going to want to picked off, but that is just the Aegis. Collapse now with the Pulverize is instantly canceled. Tomato, good right-click damage against Collapse, but there's the song to reset. Or for Yatoro, I should say, is Collapse BKB TP. He's fine. Now Yatoro on the run, but he's going to get lifted if he's not careful. Thunder God's Wrath gets some nice good vision. Mira glimmers himself. It's off the Demonic Purge, but now it is Yatoro left all alone, and he will face the Wrath of OG and they'll finally be able to take him out 70 seconds on the deck. He's not a threat to the primal. <laughs> <laughs> Laurel has the hex, has Whisper pasta BKB. His if primal split is up in two seconds. He's gonna be able to walk it off, it seems. Do. Paposhka, uh -oh. he's gonna get. He has to split. He has to use the primal split, and that means they want to fight. Laurel, he's left all alone. Pops his bloodstone. There is the Chronosphere, the song to come. Oh, and this Tomato is such a good counter. Delaying things again, and Tomato can only hit illusions. How frustrating is that? And now the trample on top of BZM, and the Brewmaster is gonna die inside his own split. Beautiful fight from Collapse. Spirit. Collapse. Okay, he's on the cliff. That's awkward. Oh, Seb will help him out. <laughs> Going to need to get a replay of that one after Thanks, this fight Seb. is over. And the fourth member of OG falls. And Spirit dominating. As we're unpaused in case you were alt-tabbed. Whisper looking for looking the backstab here. here yeah. Actually gets popped, but the Primal Beast goes in really deep collapse. Not able to find the connection. Tomato already used his BKB. In fact, pretty much everybody has used their BKB. Whisper forced to use the Primal Split. He's already getting destroyed. Only the Earth Panda remains. Oh, they're gonna purge, purge it. upon him. And Whisper has to come out early, but he's gonna get collapsed by Collapsing Company. Laurel will help Mira get the kill. And now the song from Yatoro to help the rest of his team catch up. Static Storm on Ari, Kinetic Field on Seb. He does steal the static, but it's just too little, too late. Three dead. I think they put it top. They put it in the lane they have Rex and Shannon. Oh, they did it! They've Spirit done it! Never ceases to impress us, but unfortunately it's Whisper saw it and he's running uh, over. Oh, he uh, smoked. He's gonna take the uh, two wisdoms. Is he gonna me? kill the flag? Does he give a shit about this? Double wisdom, Shannon. Oh, that is oh, very oh, unusual. Oh, he's going for it! The backstab on the banner is successful! Whisper has done it! They're gonna lose, of course, but he's done that at the very <laughs> least. The Chronosphere comes in from Tomato, but a nice disruption from Mira again. Feels like Tomato just cannot catch a break. Whisper's on, even on, here. On him. Of course not. He's too busy killing something that nobody gives a shit about except for you and me. Finally, Tomato is dead. No 80 seconds.
Aegis still intact and Spirit should be able to clean this up here on out. How can OG defend with four? As <laughs> whispers all the way back here. All right, watching a very cool battle as a song comes out from Yatoro. Sep is dead. Melee racks at the bot lane will go down and Yatoro not even bothering for the Megas. It's like, guys, I, I think we can finish. Let's do this. Yeah, apparently that battle of the ages is still happening. Whisper looking for the high five that will never come. Collapse refuses to deal with him. <laughs> this is like a parody. <laughs> what are they doing? Well, Whisper is dying. He does have buybacks. That's a quicker TP in some ways. Very next level play. Zeus into the fountain, dies. Has buyback, will expend it. Now they're all out of buybacks, I do believe. Mira. OG finds a couple supports as Spirit maybe bit off a little bit too much here. Primal split coming. Nice bushwhack as Collapse comes in with another onslaught, but he's lifted into the air. But look at the damage onto these Brulings. Already two out of the four dead. That's 50%. He's oh, wow. wondering, Cinderin. And a sheep being shown by Yotaro. It's on its way. As Collapse will get... I don't think they can Lifted. kill this guy. Yeah, he is so huge. Like, what are they going to do? He has heart, 5,000 health, Kaiosan. Yep, they're tickling him. And now Yatoro coming. It's like, all right, it's time. The song. Doesn't look like they want to fight without their supports. That's really the highlight of the game for them to look at in the replay to figure out what they could have done differently. Uh, Laurel, he'll find a little Brewmaster action. And that is a dieback. So Whisper probably won't be able to get back into this game. UZM showing himself, which sets up the song for Yotoro. Static, Static Storm. Static Storm upon him, and this is going to be the second dieback for Sep's, OG. Sep has the Kamado, shark, but he couldn't get it range. really wants to disrupt it, but again, the disruption comes out. And Maposhka, Glimmer, no vision for Tomato, and he's just out of steam. Time walks just like a little kid with his hand in the cookie jar, just can't quite get to Maposhka. GG's called game number one to Spirit. What an outplay. They, this was top class from Spirit. Probably one of their best games of the tournament, really. They've been, like we said, a bit hot and cold, but they're coming in today. The stakes are high. Is this just a call your bluff situation? Yeah. You? TA feels more like a BZM hero to me than Sniper. Ooh, how about a Void Spirit? Yeah, also kind of up his out, like his type of hero. Terrorblade the Courier Killer. This is not his nickname. This is not the first time in Dota history that Terrorblade support is a thing, by the way. It has happened before. Has it? I don't know. Yeah, in Dota Dragon 2. Tail, blood grenade to follow. Tomato continue to get healed by Seb, but will it be enough? Doesn't look like it. Oh. One more right click. Not even needed as Collapse has the breathe fire. First blood goes to him. And already the DK Terrorblade lane ruining pubs everywhere. Just getting a bit delirious. I, I do miss Yapsor. Yeah. The competitive scene, though, I will say. One of the most exciting position for us to ever grace the Dota world. The world Morka. record holder for most kill steals with Fade Bolt. Yep, that's probably true. Fairy Fire, Ari wants to try to turn this around. Toss up, will eventually fall to the Ink Swell. Now Whisper's in trouble, too. Yep, Yatoro's coming in. Storm oh, this is real bad. And he will get cleaned up by the right clicks. That is no good. At that point, I was, uh, I was on to Artifact, the new hot card game from Valve. Yatoro pressured a bit by Whisper as the coil comes out from Laurel. And OBZM wants to try to counteract this. Looks like the Darkseer will fall first. Big avalanche from Ari. Is it enough to take out Laurel? Not quite oh, yet. Nice Astro phase. is not going to hit. Laurel, who's the intended what target, BZM God. falls, and Laurel does not. Why are they not tipping him? What a sick play from Laurel. He dodges just conceptually against this. If they have a good idea of the, the timings that are well, at play. It might have to be on hold, Cinderin, because Tomato is getting triple teamed as Mira. Well, he actually won't do anything. He'll look successfully for the kill. Seb next on the list. Down goes the God, AKA Io. Yeah, Avalanche. if you didn't watch the last game, you'll be like, <laughs> oh, yes, I mean, Seb's good, I know. <laughs> and Amira does get taken out, which you usually be more excited about, except for the fact that it is a support Terra Blade. I'm sorry I got <laughs> distracted for a moment. I'm just laughing. Yeah, Toro denied a bounty rune, and then he got tipped by Mira. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> that this even happen? Did he have an illusion? Or did he uh, actually uh, collapse? Oh, they're gonna try to go for this again. They don't get the double stun, but oh, no, they might is... still have the damage. The ink spell connects onto both. And one toss comes up. Tomato actually living for now. That's a big plasma field as the rest of the rotation comes in from OG. The wall it placed as well, and three dead for Spirit. Oh, so they a little bit that of badly. Absolutely. And at this level of play with what you're playing against, oh, it will be the tough wall without it. On collapse, and the relocate's coming. That ends up being a really easy kill for OG. Yep, Ari. Spirit will in, find Ari here. Might be in some hurt here. Dragon Tail finds him. Oh, they're gonna Maybe reload in here? Coming. OG wants to fight. Avalanche is there. Ari is still alive, actually. Soulbind immediately popped by Maposhka, but he's deleted huh. for his efforts. Coil now on basically the entirety of OG. He's gonna hold them back as oh, oh, Ari oh. actually going in really deep. Can they punish this? We'll be able to face shift a bit off as Yatoro pops that god strength. Thunder was used by Mira. And they're gonna try to turn this around to BZM, who's all alone. Astral Step, oh, gets off the Resident Pulse just in time. So no kills, but still. Very important. <laughs> Smoke too soon again, Mira. Oh, tries that was to get close off the to the Sunder. Sunder. But will fall first as Collapse continue on to BZM. Collapse all alone. Now he's going to try the BKB TP. Not successful for him. The very disconnected fight. Yeah, that's so disconnected. They just left with their position one and two. Didn't really seem like they were able to try to go for that. But at the very least, they got an aggressive position on the map. Laurel, waiting rift onto a couple of heroes. Still has his coil as the hammer comes in from Yatoro onto Ari. He's going to get tossed into the air. God Strength is there. A nice, nice vacuum, vacuum to the other side of the cliff. And BZM actually going on top of Laurel. Gets the second silence, but is going to commit onto Yatoro instead, who's still trying to chase Whisper. Gets glimmered. Will live, but a huge storm hammer. Chop onto Seb. Ari is dead to Laurel. And just like that, it's a five versus three for Spirit. Tomato trying to run away with the BKB activated. They finally do get Laurel in the end. But now the fireball applied. Hammer to finish the job on Tomato. And Whisper attempting to TP out in the midst of oh, things. But the so damage clutch. not quite there. Beautiful Aether Remnant comes out from BZM to save his brother. But he is playing around Tomato quite well. Uh, Ari does get the Avalanche off as the relocate's coming as well. Mira at half HP. Relocate's not going to bear any fruit, it seems. They're going to steal some camps, get Watcher control, and they'll probably just go back to where they came from. Yeah. Ari, he's trying to hound Yatoro now. This would be big. Yep, gets the stun off initially. Tomato's back with his static link. Yatoro wants to fight this through. The God Strength is there, cleaving through Seb. That's one kill, but it's going to cost him his own life. As Seb makes the tip. Vanished. One for one, but the favor for OG, no doubt about it. It was the best play available for him to get that trade. He had no TP, so he couldn't BKB TP out. But being alone in the middle of the map there on Sven is very surprising to me. I think with all of OG BCM. missing that. Okay, creating a lot of havoc here as the wall is placed. Mira is still signing somebody gets a nice thunder onto BZM. And they're going to smoke up. Ari breaks it pretty much right off the bat. Spear Vessel applied Coil as well, but BZM oh, jumps shit. in. He's going to get three shot if he's not careful. Actually able to get out just in time. And now Tomato coming in to try to finish the job. Yatoro pops his BKB along with the God Strength. Now has to run away as the Static Link is just ripping through him. Yatoro's dead. That's Boots of Bearing being selected from Mira. Very nice. Laurel gets out. He's going to pop the Boots of Bearing. Run! Gets to the high ground, going through the gate. He's fine. He is definitely not fine. <laughs> the support Terra Blade has died, and now Tomato oh, will steal. steal. Nice. Um, still need to get in the type of situation where it Whoa, matters, did though. Did he just self blink? Oh boy, Ari at the force that's outside the coil. And Stormhammer is reserved oh. for him as a god strength. Okay. But, uh, let's just call that a misclick. They want him yeah. real dead. He wants to fight, apparently. Astral Step upon Yatoro. Try to kite him surely. Will not. Oh, gets the sheep now. Maposhka nearby. Wall is placed though. Stormhammers to the creeps to try to get out. Pop the satanic as well, attempting the TP, but he didn't BKB. Gets the vacuum to cancel it. Oh, what a be the blunder! Death of Toro. How did he not BKB there? Yeah, right. Wow. Lol says I'll do it myself with a uh, damage rune plus parasma eggs. Tomato still poking. Can just barely kill the IO. Yeah, but now that the axe is on the DK. Black Dragon at the, his disposal. Tower still taking heavy damage. Looks like it will fall. Collapse. Gets off the Dragon. He'll fireball to follow. Step does buy back into the game. Ari with the Avatos. Tossing the mirror. 
Tossing Mira back, gets off the Sunder though. We'll get silenced and destroyed. Gatoro's back in eight seconds. Does OG want to stick around? No. Oh, they brought, oh, they brought Razor back to base. This could be bad. <laughs> yep, this is not good, potentially. Ari, he will definitely die to Yatoro's right click. Whisper, man, so many BKB TPs this game. I don't think Seb meant to do that, actually. Still doesn't have it? No, still doesn't not, have it. I have it yet. Maybe I'm overrating it. It's definitely possible. Yatoro with a high ground position. And has a level advantage. God strength. He's going to find Tomato, who pops the BKB, but really they're focusing on Seb. As a Grimstroke dies, Tomato trying to keep his support alive, doing a pretty good job of that. And that's Static Link number one. Doesn't even need the second, but that is the Aegis gone already. Has collapsed, trying to create some space. Now the focus is on this Razor. Double Astro attack from BZM, focusing all of their efforts onto Yotoro. Has to go onto Mudgolems to try to run away, but the Static Link finds him. Again, the Sven is dead without putting on much of a fight. Collapse. They really need to get a bash or something on somebody. My god. Then you have to storm hammer in and not pop the the god strength if you want to buy some information or whatever and then really come out on the second life. But if you're going for it, you might as well pop everything. It's not like Ooh. divine time. Yeah. You will get that instead of the Aeon Disc. I really agree with this choice. I think we're in not necessarily desperation mode here for the side of spirit, but Lab, you gotta use your hands. Oh wait, he's dead. Never mind. Keep it up. <laughs> Keep the cheerleading going. Keep clapping. Seconds they're gonna on the clap deck. for another 40 seconds. Now they're gonna have the rapier reveal here. There's the coil. Already tons of damage applied to him on a nice vacuum coming into the wall as well. That's the death of the DK. Now BZM gonna get the Yules off, but Mira gonna be the recipient of all this damage. No Sunder to come. He's bursted down as well. They barely even tickled them with that rapier. Tomato just stood his ground, delivered. Tara looking for an opening. Tomato will pop his Eye of the Storm, and that's a melee racks down. And it looks like it's just Megas, so Spirit very comfortable to go against Megas. They got a lot of practice. Oh no, uh, here we go again. Day. They have a good Rapier hero in there on defense. Yeah, they don't have a PA Rapier though. That was that was that's a true. special, special case. Maybe his problem. attack speed is too bad to support a Rapier. Well, his attack speed will be stolen now though from Tomato, so yeah. that's his thinking. As the buildings, as they're so affectionately called, will be going down slowly as well to Tomato's right click. As OG, ready to go for tier fours now, knocking on the door. Yatoro has to do something. God strength is there. Laurel jumps in with that BKB, along oh, with the Divine Raider, but the Hex onto Yatoro, just getting so controlled. A huge vac wall. Oh Holy shit. God. Absolutely disgusting combo from Whisper. Good game. And Mira's going to get cleaned up. Ultra kill for Tomato, desperately looking for the. Okay. <laughs> okay, he can't get the Rampage while crashed, that's for sure. Crashed during that plasma field. Yeah, maybe it wasn't a crash. Maybe it was just a full-on freeze, and he thought he was crashing. So yeah, I guess that's true. Ne never disconnected. And onto the buildings they go. Buybacks used by Spirit, but Yatoro doesn't have his. As Ari with the Avatos on the Mira, setting up a potential good Sunder for him. Soulbind into really nothing. Just trying to keep them at bay is. Laurel from behind is going to get hexed. He's going to get silenced. Can't jaunt now. And that is the Divine on the deck. BZM doesn't even bother picking it up. As GG's are called, we are going to a game number three. For the sixth series in a row, or seventh. I don't know how many it's been by this point, but the uh, yeah. all series yesterday were three games today. So far, both as well. Well, uh, they end up switching the Lesh Rack to 5 after all. Uh, so Seb's going to be playing the Lesh. Uh, they pick a Storm Spirit last for Team Spirit, which is going to be very good at jumping the back lane here. OG's lineup looking very stable. This is going to turn into a big fight here. Tomato. Yep, Storm Hammer's there. Connects onto two. Bushwhack as well. Maposhka taking the brunt of the damage. Tomato trying to lead the way to get this first blood. Gets stuck in the tree line, though, and he's going to one that falls instead as Mir will pick up the all that gold, all that precious, precious gold. Be taking the reins this time around. Yatoro taking heavy damage from Whisper in the meantime, but under the tower, Maposhka goes to finish off Ari. And the meta is still there. Apply some pressure to Whisper, but he gets the cleanup onto Maposhka. Now, Shockwave in addition. 
Reflection in two seconds as Whisper will continue to chase and think better of things. The push cut doesn't want to give it back. He just wants to keep the bottle forever. All right, there we go. Understandable. He feels like the core now. He's on that absolute god spree. Look, see, look at this echo stop onto it too. Laurel's going to try to clean up Seb. He's pretty low on HP and mana, though. Tries to zip away. Ari, though, left on low HP thanks to Maposhka's right clicks, and that leads to a double kill for the Storm. To grab more around the map by picking up these towers, I think top tower should be relatively easy with any sort of kill from the Storm on a core up there. You just grab that. Amato will go and contest oh boy. with Toro here. Yeah, God Strength using that cleave to his advantage. Toro at half HP. No stunner to work with as there's the RP from Whisper. Bushwhack will secure alone things. Down here. And Toro gets destroyed. Swift response from OG to a bit of a tough situation for a bit. Collapse will walk in. Collapse. Trample to start things out. Whisper. Oh my god, he gets both on the cliff, but doesn't matter. He ends up dying anyway. Oh wow, they're Very both good again. attempt. And the pulverize to follow Seb. It just looks exciting, all right? The fight really early, and I don't know. Only time will tell. BZM runs into Laurel. Blink. Dragon Tail to follow. And the bushwhack. But here comes Collapse to try to counteract. Whisper with the RP just on the storm. If they can get this, it'll be huge. But the Echo Stomp comes out. And now they've separated everybody. But a split Earth hits two heroes from Seb. They still don't have enough damage, though. Whisper taken out by Maposhka. And now the rest of OG on the run. Seb will die on the stairs. Man, that was so close for OG. It's, I'm just wondering, because some other teams have rated it as high as Spirit sometimes, but it's not been consistent. It's like a lot of focus on Sven and stuff. Nice, curious. Okay. <laughs> Mira, they're both trying to put each other on the cliff. Neither will be successful, but Laurel and company will surround Whisper. He stands still in defeat. The tips now come. Seb being pursued by Laurel. Collapse coming in with the Onslaught and the Blade Mail to help finish the job. Laurel with the double kill. Go ahead, Seb. Mira. Oh, gets a nice telekinesis off with the skewer to follow. He's going to get Shockwave. There's the RP. They really want to kill this Rubik. They're going to get him. Laurel kind of wanted a piece of that. The Sharpshooter does hit. He's a witch. Zip TP away. Collapse. He's going to get Shockwave. There's a cliff again. <laughs> Uh-oh. What will Not occur the here? They run far, far, far away. Echo Stomp Dead. onto three oh, with the no. trample to follow. Dragon Tail going to be dispelled basically by that BKB. And is it going to be able to get that last right click onto Seb? Maposhka left to his own devices will likely fall to Tomato. And OG thinking about resetting, but a big zip from Laurel to focus now onto Tomato. He gets the Dragon Tail off, but the Onslaught to come from Collapse. And a skewer coming out from Laurel. Oh, they got and the, the stun. Off. They do kill off the Storm Spirit in the end, but it cost them Tomato. And now the trample to finish off Whisper. So in the end, it looks like Spirit will win this fight. But OG putting up quite a fight themselves. Timing for him. Now if they scan out, so OG knows that this has come to. Wait. That was surely their scan. Tomato uh, might be in some trouble now. Fade Bolt's going to be there. Onslaught on top into the Pulverize. I am 99% sure that was their scan. I think we can ask either Gorg or Bulldog. Oh no. Okay. As we have an Earth Splitter come out onto BZM. Already super low as a result. Gets the Dragon Tail off with the Yules from Aposhka. Should set up the kill, but Whisper comes with the RP, but it's too late to save BZM. But the Split Earth is there on top of Laurel, so they do get the collateral. But now Yatoro has come to play. No, he has to collapse. <laughs> Yatoro's in the river. It's been a long week, Cinder, and his oh. whisper. <laughs> Yatoro has come to play just a little bit late to the party. Tomato still with that god strength. They have the skewer, whisper. Another shockwave to come, but he's just taken out by Yatoro. One more right click from here. Should do the job with the telekinesis to set oh, it up. Tomato on here. the run. The Warcry giving me that extra move speed and tankiness. Yep, that is definitely true, is Yatoro poking at the high ground. Fortification used by OG. Looking for a fishing here from Whisper. Yep, he's going to be... Oh, oh! Okay, not going to be there, in fact. Real fast there on the pike, Yatoro. That is... Uh, I mean, he definitely had that cursor ready to go. You don't need to have the cursor on your cursor pike. Cursor ready to go. That's on what the hotkey is. Range Rex looks like it might just fall to the illusions, although the backdoor protection is there. Eventually it will fall as Yotaro, nice dodge. Now focusing on the melee, Tomato and company looking to potentially go in here. Meta's about to end though, so Spirit. 
Likely yeah. just back away, but Whisper, not okay with that. RPUs just on collapse, but probably worth it. 50 seconds on the deck for him. As Jotaro, looking like he wants to fight. He has the Aegis, but again, no meta. The only thing that can lock him down in that BKB is RP, and that's hard to land on a storm with Arcane, who's just going to be zipping back and forth. I've been wanting this. Avoiding each other for now. Both teams mostly smoked. Seb, Seb. Again, the lone member not smoked. He might be the pickoff. It's off the Glimmer. Dust is there, but here comes BZM with a counter initiation. They have to stun onto the Storm Spirit. He gets bursted! Laurel is dead. It cost them Seb. His collapse gets off his pulverize onto the Tomato Sven. That's just through the BKB. Just trying to kite this Terror Blade now as the RP comes. Do they have the damage? Absolutely. OG punishing Spirit here. Now Maposhka, Cliff won't save you. Four staffs to the low ground. He has a gem. They're trying to save the gem here. Yeah, another use to come, but happen. Tomato finds the connection he needs. Oh, they did. did they pass it off? He gave it to Mira, and oh, then wow. Mira blinked out. That's Clutch. a high skill play right there. BZM getting gone on by Collapse. Doesn't have his blink up anytime soon. Cancellation continue to be there from BZM as Collapse gets off the onslaught. <laughs> oh, oh my god, are you serious? Those absolutely pathetic creeps deny him? How in He's the world? He's a fucking dinosaur, how? I mean, it's one thing against... How do you even come up with that in that situation? <laughs> Fly anywhere he wants. As the Roche will finally take place, Tomato, God's strength is there, and Spirit are going to try to counteract this. Will they find the right angle? Collapse again on slotting away. They know that God Strength has been used, so maybe they just wait this out along with the Dragon Form. Reflection onto BZM. A little taste of your own medicine. But back into the pit they go. Laurel, BKB popped. Whisper. It's going to get lifted in mid skewer. He's taking a lot of damage here. Echo Stomp. RP is there from Whisper onto two. He's going to die shortly after, though. ET ult doing a decent amount as Roche still quite healthy. Tomato. He's going to have to try to BKB TP, but the Pulverize is there, and it looks like Roche will be taken by Spirit. The waiting game works out. Yeah, they just, they waited so long, and they were so patient, and what a read that this was not going to be a Roche kill for OG. Has the Shadow Blade as well. Been seeing that a couple times in this turn. Maybe even seen a couple Silver Edges. Oh, collapse it's, it's initiation. Big. Forces out the BKB from Tomato. The RP from Whisper to just... Use it defensively and try to run away, but there's the Electric Vortex finding the DK. BZM already at half HP. As Laurel basically out of mana, but Stolen Mira RP. gets the RP. Collapse finishes the job onto BZM. And now the Yules gonna keep Whisper in play. We'll get off the Skewer, but dies in the midst of things. Yeah, Toro is actually going for the Tier 4 Towers. Double buyback now onto OG. And Spirit gonna back away a little bit. A little bit ambitious to go for those tier fours as BZM in that dragon form again. Collapse goes in yet again, pulverized this time onto Seb. Yatoro still with the Aegis intact, the meta getting quite low. It's Whisper with, oh, he gets thundered mid skewer and he's dead! 90 seconds of no Magnus now as Laurel getting quite low will zip away to safety. Yatoro getting hounded in the meantime, but they're kind of ignoring him actually with this Aegis as BZM continued to slow oppressively on the rest of this Spirit lineup. They get the Aegis. There's the buyback onto Rubik. Maposhka, his TP is canceled. Looks like BZM will take him out. And they get the Split Earth onto Yatoro. And Collapse trying to do as much damage as he can. Tomato is going to get sharpshooted. That's stolen from Mira. Beautifully done. And now Sven is dead for 90. Stole no the way to get tail. back in again. This Rubik is stealing everything that he wants and using it against OG as they have all three cores dead. And that might do it, Spirit showing up big time in this series. They get the lift onto Seb, not gonna bother even trying to pursue as the tier fours are dead. Ancient exposed, collapse with a victory trample. And Seb and Ari can only look on as the ancient explodes. GG's for Spirit as OG are eliminated from the tournament and Spirit making them to the top four. Wow, what a finish. That was a that was a great game, I have to say. Both teams I think played really, really well. The final score 37 to 17 doesn't really show the the dynamic that this was. It was very back and forth. Spirit do get a lot of kills here and there, but OG finds some big ones.